The Two Frogs and the Well by Aesop. Hello, this is Richard, and I'm here with a fable by Aesop, which is ever so short. As it's such a teeny weeny squib of a tale, there's time to tell it to you in three forms a story, a poem, and a song. First, the story. It was hot. It was so terribly hot that the trees were sweating. The ponds were empty. The wells were dry. The ducks were thirsty. Now, there were two frogs who were so parched that the younger one said, Ribbit, any more of this heat and we're going to shrivel up so small that we'll be tadpoles again. The old frog croaked back. Ribbit, if we don't find a well with some water in it, we're going to die. And so they both decided that their only chance was to search far and wide until they found a better place to live. And so off they hopped over the fields and far away. At last, just as their legs had the final bit of energy in them, they found a well. Ribbit, this better have a few drops left, or that's it for us, said the older frog. They both peeped over the edge, and lo and behold, lovely water that was deep, deep, deep. In they both tumbled, head over heels, and drank their fill. The young frog exclaimed, Ribbit, oh my, this is the life! Let's stay in here in this well forever. But the older one shook his head and said, Ribbit, no, dear boy, it is wiser to climb out of this well right away. For if the hot weather continues, the water here will sink down, and we shall go lower down too. And what do you think will happen? Ribbit, uh, it will all dry up suggested the young frog. Ribbit, yes, and then what shall we do? For we shall be right at the bottom of a very deep, dry well, and it will be impossible for us to jump out. And so, the moral of the story is, look before you leap. And that was the story of the two frogs and the well by Aesop. Now, in the 19th century, an English poet called Jeffreys Taylor turned the fable into verse. I thought you might like to hear his poem. The Two Frogs by Jeffreys Taylor The day was hot, the heat was dire, enough to make a post perspire. The ponds were empty, pumps were dry, the ducks were thirsty. So was I. Two frogs resolved, quite right, I think, to take a tour in search of drink. And long they sped them on their way, and many a dangerous leap had they. But there appeared a well at length, which both approached with failing strength. And when they gave an anxious peep, alas, was twenty fathoms deep. Well, said the youngest, let's descend. No, said the other, youthful friend, for should the water dry here too, I ask thee, what we then should do? Deep was the well, not quite so deep our moral lies. Look, ere you leap. And that was The Two Frogs by Jeffreys Taylor. And now, as you may know, Although Aesop was Greek, many of his fables originated in India. We thought you might like to hear a little Indian song about a frog jumping into a well. It's sung in Hindi by Story Nori's Jana Elizabeth. <laughs> Oh, I 
And that was the traditional Indian song called Baba Dadua, sung by Jana Elizabeth. I hope you've enjoyed our variations on the ancient tale of the two frogs. For now, from me, Richard Scott at storynori.com, ribbit!